Okay, stop clapping, stop clapping. You're making me nervous. When you walk down the street in the centre of London, you always find someone performing on the street. Hey guys, this is Question Veda. So in my channel, I always try to compare my life I used to have in Japan and the life I have right now in London. And today I would like to talk about the street performers because that's one of the things that I found exciting and cool about life in London. When you walk down the street in the centre of London, you always find someone who's performing on the street or in the station, park, wherever. Even weekdays, it's so easy to find someone doing that. And especially on weekends, the music's everywhere in central London. Along the Thames River or Trafalgar Square, Covent Garden, or Oxford Street. So many different places you get to see so many different kinds of performances. You will be amazed by the variety of performers that you get to see on the street. Of course there are some street performers in Japan, but the number of street performers is so much less compared to London, I think. I used to live in Tokyo, but it's just not as much as in here, you know? The, um, the number is crazy. I just want to show you some examples. I took some videos of amazing performers on the street, so let's have a look. I'm 
parts of London in terms of street performer is that not only performers but also the audience has a really good vibe. Of course it's not everybody, some people can be very shy but compared to Japan, people are more smiling and some of them are like dancing along the music or making noise. When the performers finish one song, they are like clapping and saying like, woo, you know. And I'm sure that is very encouraging for performers because I used to do some performance in uni or in high school and when I perform something it's so important or encouraging for me to see the reaction, see the reaction of the audience, right? I'm sure so many of you guys have experience of performing some kind of art when you're in school and you were so happy when the audience is making noise, right? And that's exactly what's happening in the street of London, I think. And don't forget to tip in at the end if you like the performance because another thing that I really like about London is that people tend to tip more for a really good performance or something. I didn't see many people tipping in for street performers in Tokyo, to be honest. Correct me if I'm wrong. But in here, I see so many people just tipping in. They understand that the good, high quality performance requires a lot of time and energy to practice, and that's something very valuable. So, when they are satisfied with their performance, they tip in. Even for a little tiny amount of money, if it accumulates, it makes a lot of difference. And if those performers can earn a certain amount of money with their performance on the street, their activities, their performance will be sustainable. If they can earn money, they can spend more time practicing and they can improve their skill. And then we get to have more and more better and better quality performance in our society. So it's like a good cycle is going on in here. One of my friends told me that in the US, the tipping culture for street performers is so much more compared to the UK. So street performers in the US, they seriously earn a lot of money, much more than in the UK. Which I don't know whether it's true because I've never checked that but if it's true that is awesome but so far for me London is already amazing I think London offers a good opportunity for those young talented artists to experiment their talent in public and get good enough reward I think it's just my impression the great part of having street performers on street is that if there's nobody in the street, it's just a street, empty street. People just walk past and that's it. But if there's a street performer, that just becomes a theater or a gallery or the place of encounter. People stop there and start to interact with each other or just enjoy the music. And that just makes the daily life so much more fun. And also, the street performers are really used to communicate with the audience as well. So they make jokes, or they make them laugh, or they talk to them, or sometimes they even drag the audience to the performers and make them a part of their own performance, which is so much fun. Especially when they drag some kids to perform together, that is so cute, and audience really love it. 
I love it as well. So it really creates a good atmosphere, not only performance, but it just becomes the place to encounter people or to communicate with people. So that's why the street performer is a great way to make a vibrant, nice, good atmosphere within the city. And if you have a chance to come to London, I really want you to just, just have a walk around Trafalgar Square or along Thames River maybe and enjoy those street performers on the way and tip them if you really like them. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and if you like the video, please hit the like button or leave a comment. Please subscribe and tell me your ideas about street performers. Is there any cool but street performers in your city? Any kinds of comment is appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.